Hola familia, estoy en Deña, voy a recoger a mi sin, si fue Master Marco Schussler, para obtener alguna clase privada y vamos a grabar un, un vídeo donde vamos a enseñar un poco la idea nuestra sobre las artes marciales en general y yo creo que os va a sorprender y es una cosa muy interesante. Tengo la suerte de vivir en un sitio bonito como Denia o cerca de Denia, donde los maestros vienen de vacaciones y yo, lógicamente, me aprovecho para seguir mi formación. Si sí, fumas hasta Marco Schussler ha sido mi primer profesor de Vinci y Esgrima y hasta hoy en día sigo con él, ya que me convencen sus conceptos y la manera como, como da la clase. Hola, good morning. Hi, my name is Marco Schusler. I'm from Germany. I'm a martial arts instructor. Um, regardless of the styles that I'm doing or the methods that I adopt, um, I would just want you to pres or just want to present you today something about more functionality that is universal or it's the universal truth for all martial arts. And we are also showing some exercises that you can do at home. Very simple, very easy exercises. Hi again. So before you, or before we go into the exercises, so you better understand the exercises. I want to explain three simple points. First of all, every human being is able to fight without doing martial arts. Why? Because as a kid, by intuition, you know how to throw things to the head of somebody because you're feeling angry. And later, when you grow up, you just replace whatever you took as a small infant, you replace it by your fist or by your palm. So everybody is able to mobilize energy. Everybody. The only thing that you can't do is, what you have to learn is to systematically do it and systematically keep energy away from you. Second, the information process in your brain based on visual perception is in four stages. Recognition, comparison, analysis and decision making and the transition of your body. This is much too long and it's also uh, risky because you have interpretations in your head that false the data. Third, every human being has something which is called the tunnel or tunnel view. That means under stress, under immense stress in every sport, in, in professional life, you only have a view from your mental eye that is like this and all the information inside you can perceive everything outside you cannot perceive anymore that means you have a lack of information that could be crucial which also is uh, risky to your information process in your brain that I explained before okay hi again so the first tool we're taking is this little softball in order to see how we respond if somebody is really pushing the softball towards us. Rewind a little bit and watch again. Watch Marcus how he is reacting to the incoming thrust of the softball. And you can see that his body is totally relaxed. But ask yourself why. And when you do it, ask yourself why am I relaxed? Because you had a a visual recognition that this is a softball. So your brain says, okay, that means no danger, I can stay relaxed all the time. So what did you recognize? You saw the bodies were in full tension, fully structured. The hands were always on head level, chest level, always there, even when I changed direction. So if you do this, it's going to be very strenuous, but do it, but beware, always thrust the ball, don't throw it. If you throw it, the ball loses energy. Always thrust. So. The partner has to keep his hands upwards or up the whole time. Now rewind. What have you seen? Do this 
for 10 minutes or five minutes only and then do it with a group of people that means the one who has the ball can push forward and he always tries to shoot a person not throw at him but he can also faint and then push and thrust to the side to another person so everybody has to stay completely aware completely structured okay now we're going to bring the whole scenario into a transition that means now we are exchanging or replacing the medicine ball by human body which is nothing different and later on we are replacing the human body not entirely but it's the fist or the elbow or the palm or whatever that is then transferring the energy so there's no difference between all those things you are the medicine ball and you have several medicine balls you actually have three yeah you have one foot that you can use at the same time with two hands what you just saw is nothing different than what you see every weekend on a rugby field on a field where you play american football it's mere energy yes somebody wants to break your line wants to break through your line and if you start fighting you're lost because he's already mobilizing or he's mobilized with energy and a lot of energy and you have to withstand it otherwise you're going to be lost or you open your structure and you saw with the medicine ball you were always structured your hand were here and your body had to support it otherwise you couldn't handle the medicine ball you can't also handle a body that is coming towards you like this okay everybody now you saw that we took the medicine ball and we had the softball and you saw how Marcus's body reacted or acted okay you saw with the softball he was relaxed with the medicine ball he was completely, uh, completely under tension and he was structured and now I'm going to blindfold his eyes meaning that the tunnel view and this is nothing different cannot give him any physical recognition to any object that there is or there is and at the same time he cannot estimate any volume because he cannot read my body language he's he's totally lost and now i will tell him or i will blindfold him and then i will tell him okay one of the two balls is coming in you don't know which one and do this exercise at home do it also with your trainer with everybody and you see everybody will react the same okay so one of the two balls is coming in you're blindfolded and feel for yourself how you prepare yourself for that situation. Okay, everybody. Now, he doesn't know which ball I'm taking. I'm taking them both with me, so he cannot make a guess, a real guess, a good guess. So he only knows that one of the balls will come in. So, Marcus, prepare yourself for... Okay, open your blindfold. Okay, now, did you watch Marcus? What did he expect? He expected the worst case. And you saw when I switched the balls without making any noise and everything, I to told him to take off this blindfold. He was completely surprised that it was not the medicine ball, which actually there was. But he made the right assumption. I have to go for the worst case. And in the next exercise, you will see how we progress this to somebody that is sprinting at you, bringing energy to you. Yeah, you always have to see the worst case because the tunnel and everything else is like blindfolding you. You don't have the time for recognition and processing the information. You don't have to. Uh, you don't have the time. Boom. Yes. Boom. yes. Now I'm closing in. Boom. Boom. Closing in. Boom. 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 Closing in. Boom. Boom. Yes. Closing in. Boom. Boom. Closing in. Boom. 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 Going away. 
boom, boom. Okay, everybody. Now try these exercises. Do them exactly as I tell or as I explained it to you, and then try to change the odds a little bit. Do something different, and then already you're going into a transition into martial arts. But you're taking the principle of functionality and energy, and keep those two key terms in your mind and discuss them with your trainer, with your teacher. It's structure and energy and how these interrelate because you need structure in order to keep energy away. Imagine you are a wall and the softball is coming to your wall. It's bouncing off because the energy of the softball is less than the, the uh, structure of the resistance, the level of structure of the wall. If the energy of the ball coming in is almost equal to the wall, to the resistance structure of the wall, the wall starts to tremble and the ball bounces off as well. But if the ball has more energy than the equalization of the energy before, the wall might tumble down. And this is where technique is kicking in, which is called martial arts. So actually there's no style, for me it's only learning method. I don't adopt any style anymore in the term. It's only a learning method. Yeah, and the most advanced learning method method is based on those functionality principles. Because then it goes from that simple idea and that simplistic explanation to the complexity that can happen. Which I tried only to nuance today. Thank you. Okay, then you're my longest running student. <laughs> and most persistent one. Si os interesa y os ha gustado este video, podéis contactar con nosotros para seminarios y cursos en España, Alemania o el resto del mundo.